Okay, so huge breakthrough in troubleshooting this hot water heater. My previous video, we replaced the hydro generator, which is right up in here. And uh, I continued to light and not light and go off in the middle of the water flow and all kinds of issues that we couldn't seem to troubleshoot. But I found a reviewer on Amazon back in 2015 who mentioned a part that we tried. So if you look at the hydro generator, you can see the black cable coming out here. It goes to this little uh, switch here, a little uh, connector. Uh, what this goes to is underneath, just my light here, is that little white box there. As you can see, it's got two little clips on the ends. It's got one screw that holds it in. This other side, uh, let me see if I can get that in there. You can't really see it well, but there's a little forked prong that goes up into the actual water heater. So what you do, is to test, that's the actual uh, a mechanical switch for the water flow which turns on and off the gas valve. So what you can do is if you unplug this little uh, connector here, which I can't do with one hand, I can. Uh, you can see the two tabs there, uh, focus there. What you can do is you can turn on the hot water, uh, the, it won't come on, like you'll hear the noise running, the hydro generator will run, but nothing happens. You actually take a small screwdriver and uh, close circuit both those little uh, male connectors there, and you'll hear it fire up. It'll do the click, 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 and it'll pop, foom, and you'll have your gas going and everything starts running. So uh, that shows you if it's not the micro switch or not. So if, if, if your thing isn't working at all, the water heater, and you do that and it lights, then probably your switch is, is out of alignment. So, uh, plug this back in real quick here. So what you can do is take off this one screw on that uh, white box. This one right here. Oh, sorry, that one right there. Uh, that whole little white box will pop off. Just be careful with the two little breakers. I can't show you this because it's back on there now, but I didn't think to film at the time. See a little clip right there? And you can see kind of the hinge point where that one little round circle is. So inside of that is this switch, like you can see here. Uh, the top part is the mechanical part that moves up and down. The bottom part is the actual switch itself. What happens is the little forked area, uh, when the water flow is on, a piston moves out a little bit for the water flow. Not far at all, it's just a couple millimeters. But that actually pushes down on this frame, which makes the, uh, the switch turn on, which fires the whole thing up, or fires the uh, igniter. So if you move, the, if you can, you can reset this switch because if, if it gets bumped or over time or whatever, it moves down too far. You can pull the top part back up. You just use a little screwdriver in that gap there. Just be careful; everything's plastic, so don't break it. But you can move the screwdriver uh, right in the little. You see the little grooves where the little uh, lines are. You can uh, push it out and scoot those up toward the top. I should have a little arrow in this video showing where that is, and then uh, put it all back together again. And what you're going to have to be careful of is when you're putting it back in not to move the Y fork too far over, that'll make it pop back down on the little grid of uh, teeth there. Because if you don't, you don't want to push it back beyond what it should be. You want it to be as far up as possible. And so then once you've got it back in installed, it, the water piston will push the lever and that'll make the little teeth click down a few notches to where it's supposed to be, not overshooting it. But that fixed our water heater. It now runs when the dishwasher runs. It runs with the smaller amounts of water that it wasn't running with before and it's staying on and consistent uh, despite fluctuations. Before I think there might have been fluctuations in the water flow and it was just enough to untrigger that switch and turn everything off. But uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, that really fixed our thing and we were looking at possibly getting a whole new water heater but that seems to have fixed the problem. And I never knew that little switch was there. All right, 